5. So here number 5 you see x value 1, y is 1. Now we put the value in this equation. So I have 1 minus 2 into 1 means y value 1. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. But right hand side is 4. We not got 4. So it is not. Okay. This is also not the solution. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got only the 3 number. This point 4, 0 is a solution. This way we can verify if points are given and an equation is given. We can verify whether solutions are not. So I think it is clear number 3. So now number 4, question number 4, you read the question number 4, you have given find the value of k, if x equal to 2, y equal to 1 is the solution of the equation. Ok, number 4, again you read the question here. Number 4, here values is given that x equal to 2 and y equal to 1, x equal to 2, y equal to 1. And one equation is given that 2x plus 3y is equal to k. Okay, here k, constant number k, we don't know, we have to find the value of k. So, our question is that x equal to 2, y equal to 1 is a solution of this equation, then we have to find the value of k. And this type of question is very important. Is that clear? So, if x and y value given, we will put in place of x and y and we will solve for k. So now we can put x value 2, so 2 into 2, 3 y value 1 is equal to k. So it is 4 plus 3 is equal to k and this implies k equal to 7. So this is the answer. This is the answer. Means k value is 7. So answer finished. Okay. So like the questions are important. So many questions are, uh, are there in sample paper or okay, reference book. You will practice this type of question. Okay, this uh, question number 4 is finished, mean this exercise 4.2 is finished. There are so many examples are given, you will practice all the examples, okay. So, now in the same page, here one uh, headline you see, the graph of a linear equation in two variables. Graph, okay. So, you have learned, you have learned about the uh, linear equation in two variables, general form, standard form. How many solutions? How to find the solution? This algebraically you have learned it. But now graph. Okay, graph of linear equation in two variables. So you see, if we find, suppose if one equation given, when linear equation in two variables is given, suppose we find two or three solutions. Okay, we find that three solutions. Then these three solutions we, we if we put if we put in the Cartesian plane, you know that Cartesian plane, we draw the x-axis, y-axis, the intersecting at the point O. And you know how to plot the point in the Cartesian plane, means in the quadrant. Okay, in chapter 3, have learning. So, if we find the three solution and if we put, okay, that three solution in the Cartesian plane, and if we join all these three points, then we will get a straight line. We will get a straight line. Okay. So a straight line is a figure, straight line is a figure. So we can say the geometrical interpretation of linear equation, okay, is a straight line. Means if linear equation in two variable, if we draw the graph, then we will get a straight line. That is the graph of the linear equation in two variables. So this way, we will draw the graph of the equation. If equation is given, we will find the solution. So minimum number of solution is 2. With 2 solution we can draw the graph. But it is suggest that you will find 3 solutions. Then you can check your solution also and graph also. Okay, practically when you will draw the uh, graph, then at that time you will, uh, you will get the idea that why 3, minimum 3 values is important. But with minimum 2 value, we can draw the graph. Okay, so if we draw the graph of linear equation in two variables, then we will get a straight line. Okay, so, so the graph of the linear equation, exercise 4.3, uh, here page number is page number 70, 71, 72, 73. Okay, these pages are given some examples, the graph of linear equation in two variables. So you will practice this also. So okay, but you know, one thing is important that when you will practice, okay, when you will practice, you will be ready with a graph copy. Okay, a graph copy, pencil, eraser, everything. 
Okay, when you will see this video, you will practice with a graph copy, graph page. Is that clear? You know how to draw the, uh, uh, how to plot the point. You will draw the x-axis, y-axis. One I will show. And same thing you will practice in the graph page or graph copy. So it is that, the when you will practice this exercise map, if it is graph, you will save with the graph copy. So collect the graph copy and practice it. Okay. Then we will start the exercise 4.3. So exercise 4.3 question number 1 Here equation is given that x plus y is equal to 4 You see the equation is very easy equation We know how to find the solution Ok we can find the solution infinite number of solutions we can find of this linear equation But here what? Here minimum 2 or 3 is best Ok we will find the solution In the form of box but solution, how do you find the solution? That solution should be correct. If solution is wrong, your graph will be wrong. So here one solution, we can take that 2 comma 2. If x is 3, y 1. Because x 2 plus 2, 4. x 3 plus 1 is 4. Or x is 1, that y 3, 1 plus 3 also 4. So these are the solution, easy solution. So we can write in this form, or that here. So 3 comma 1, this is this is 1 comma 3. So we got the solution. First part that we have to find the solution. It is a part. Okay. And this solution is correct. Then you will get the correct graph. Now suppose we, I, I will show the graph here only. Okay. So here x o x dash y o y dash. Okay. This formality have to maintain. And this is you know the first quadrant. This is second quadrant, this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant and you know the properties of the first quadrant plus plus, minus plus, minus minus and plus minus you in chapter 3 have learned how to plot the numbers now we will divide the ok this x axis and y axis into some unit and the units are divided equally ok in all direction so equally we will divide it we have divided Okay, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, this side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. When you will draw, you can write it. Okay, here this side is plus, this is plus, this is minus, and this side also minus. Okay, now we will plot the point 2, comma 2. So here 2, comma 2, this is the point. Here, when you will draw, just put the dot. In correct places, you will put the dot it. Okay, dot. Here x is 2, so 1, 2, y, 2. So where the point, just write the dot. Or here you can write the point 2, comma 2. Then next point is 3. 3, comma 1. So x 3, then y 1. So this is the point. And here you can write the point. x 3, y 1. And then x 1, y 3. Okay. So here this point. So this is the point. And this is the point 1, comma 3. So we got the three point. Okay, this is one point, this is one point, and this is one point. And if we plot this point in graph copy, you can plot accurately. So that graph paper, graph base is very important. Now we will join. We will join these points. Okay, we will join this point, and we got a straight line. Okay, here I have drawn the line by hand. So it may be the not correct line, but you will draw the this. You will join this point by scale. Strictly, okay. Use that scale pencil. Everything you have to maintain the formality. So join these points by scale, and we will get a straight line. Suppose this straight line is AB. Is that clear? So this is the equation. We got the solution. We have plotted, it and we got a straight line. So this is the graph of this equation. So it's finished. First part, second part. Okay. So we can write that uh, we uh, we plot the point this and this in the Cartesian plane and we join the point by a scale and we got a line AB. So this is the required graph. Is that correct? Is clear? So this is the graph and you will practice positively, strictly in graph copy. So uh, today I have shown just one graph. Next day, okay, next day 
I will show more graph and you will be you will collect the graph copy. Is that clear? So up to this much. Thank you.